Have you heard of the new PRP gel or PRF gel? I'm hearing a lot of hype claiming that this is the new replacement for dermal fillers. Is that true? Health Canada has recently approved this product and after testing it myself, I'm happy to share with you exactly what this product is doing and offering you realistic expectations. Let's get into it. Platelet rich plasma, also known as PRP, has actually been used in medical aesthetics for years now, but we've been using it in liquid form. The two most common treatments that you would know about are probably going to be the vampire facial or placing a little bit of this PRP under the tear trough to help improve the skin quality there. And if you're not familiar with PRP, it's basically when we draw your blood and we spin it in a centrifuge. And the centrifuge essentially separates the hemoglobin, which is the red component, with the plasma. And in the plasma, you have platelets, growth factor, and albumin, which are really the essential components to help healing. The issue I have with liquid PRP is that when used alone, it really isn't doing much at all. And the reason why is because the liquid PRP that you inject into your tissues is just absorbed overnight into the bloodstream. A lot of people market this product as a collagen stimulator, when in fact, it's more like miracle Grow or fertilizer. And this is why I'm all for using it when pairing it with something that's irritating the tissues, such as microneedling. Microneedling is what's stimulating the collagen. When you're adding the PRP to it, this is the fertilizer. This has concentrated growth factor, which helps speed up the recovery and improve the overall outcome. Now let's compare injecting it directly into the tear troughs. At that point, you really haven't created enough tissue damage in order to stimulate a lot of collagen response. And at that point, your body's pretty much going to absorb the product and really not get the true benefit of its potential. Now with PRP gel, instead of taking the liquid plasma, what we do is we place it into a heater and the albumin component, which is a protein, ends up solidifying and it creates some type of matrix to kind of keep everything together. And this is where it comes out looking like a gel. Now when it comes to structure and shape and how much volume it's going to create, this is the difference between hyaluronic acid gel and PRP gel. If you place them both on a hard surface, they look pretty similar. They both hold their shape and it looks like they're jelly. However, hyaluronic acid gel is tested under a lot of tension, a lot of force, and it's designed to keep its shape, even in wet surfaces where if you're placing PRP into an area where there's some tension or some pressure on it and some force, then it will just flatten out. Now the benefit to it is that unlike hyaluronic acid, it's going to stimulate and create collagen over time. All right, the next question, which is a great question, is how long does this stuff last? And it can be answered in two different ways. The first is the gel matrix, the gel that we inject, stays for about four to six weeks in our tissues before our body breaks it down and completely absorbs it. But remember, there's collagen that's being made around there, and that collagen can add a little bit of volume. And at the same time, it's going to improve your skin quality. Now, this is where things get interesting because every time that you do another session on top of it, you're amplifying its effect. So yes, you might get some collagen if you do one injection series alone. However, if you do a second and a third, four to six weeks apart, well then you're amplifying the collagen creation process and you're amplifying the volumization. Once that's done, then you have now created your own volume from the, your own collagen and that can last for maybe 10 months or more. So because of how this works, I don't really compare it to a hyaluronic acid filler. Instead, I compare it to more like a blended down Radius, however, 100% natural, right? So look at Radius. Radius is calcium hydroxylapatite. It's in a syringe in it's pure form, it adds volume, but we can manipulate it. We can add saline to it to soften it. And if I soften it down a little bit, then I can get a little bit of immediate volume from the calcium that remains, but over time it stimulates collagen. That's essentially what this product is doing. It's like a blended down version of Radius. However, it's all of your own product. And similarly to blended down or hyper diluted Radius, you'll need multiple treatments usually. Now, unlike Radius, where it's pretty much already prepped for you, we have to manually prepare and make our own filler, which means we have to draw the blood, we have to spin it, we have to heat it, cool it, place it into the syringes, and then at that point we can inject it, which is a lot of time for the provider. And that's part of the reason why the treatment is a little bit more expensive than other typical injectable treatments. 
Now, the other real benefit of this PRP gel is that you can pretty much inject this almost anywhere that you have tissue, right? Unlike Sculptra and Radius, we're limited there in where we can place those products. Because if you place them in tight spaces such as the forehead or constrictor muscles such as around the eye or around the mouth, then it increases the chances of having nodules, which could be chronic. Now, the last question that we're all waiting for, including myself, because the research isn't quite out there yet, is how much collagen is this producing? How much volume is this going to produce in comparison to Sculptra and Radius? We don't know, we have to wait, but we do know that it does work. And at the same time, we can inject it in areas where these other products can't go. So it's a nice little win-win for everyone. Now in this video, we didn't cover the differences between PRP and PRF gel. I know a lot of people ask me this all the time and it's a good question. We're gonna create another video for that and they both have their benefits whenever it comes especially to the PRP gel. So stay tuned for that. And if you're a medical aesthetics provider looking to increase your skills in medical aesthetics, consider joining my Patreon. It's designed for serious medical aesthetics providers just like you. Until the next time, take care of yourselves, exercise daily, and please be nice to absolutely everyone. Cheers.